What's going on? Move the mouse back again in City Skylines. Let's play Season 8, Episode Number 5, Town of Grand Lakes. And uh, unfortunately, it, it always happens once per season. A bunch happened between last episode and this episode. Uh, not because I did a bunch of building offline, but because I forgot to hit record on the last uh, the last episode. So um, the good news is, don't worry, you didn't miss too much. All I did was continue to stamp out kind of this grid pattern. And, and I kind of merged it. Let me get a, a, a really overhead view here. So you've got one of the grids that's kind of coming off the roundabout this way. And yes, we have traffic problems. I know about that. We'll, we'll work on that. We haven't done any mass transit yet. So a lot of this that you see on the screen is built off of that grid right there. Coming away 30 units from the roundabout before we make our first intersection. And then there are every 11 after that so that they have room for... Looks like I haven't finished them all for sidewalks like we've got right here. So you can see that I've got sidewalks running through the buildings and multiple cut throughs there for people um, to hopefully encourage them to take their cars around a little less. But we still don't have any mass transit, so that's okay. We will get better and better as we go. The other thing I did, you may notice a little bit of a, a different look and feel of these buildings. And actually, let's uh, let's get down there on foot and take a look at the modern the modern city center where's our uh, where's our mascot there we go so yeah these are the modern city center buildings I want to say I I'm gonna murder his name Ami Poetsai Funk his name's Jason Dittmars he did the the Berlin one-to-one -one build and he did some really cool um, buildings as you can see here in the kind of a modern downtown style so it's a little tricky on console because you can't really choose which building goes where so you can't really have these blocks that kind of seem like one giant structure what's on the balcony here little chairs that's cool but uh so yeah that that's kind of what happened uh i expanded as i needed to and just kind of met the the demand you can see that we've got a ton a ton a ton a ton of industrial demand and i want to stop meeting it with uh industrial with with actual industrial space. I want to start meeting it with office. There's one other thing I forgot and I did get a recording of this because I did it on a separate file is I buried part of this highway and this is still a really sloppy intersection. But rather than have highway kind of cutting through all here, we've got highway running underneath and I was hoping we could support this entire area maybe with an exit over here. We'll turn this into a coal relief at some point or another exit down here. This one again is is slop. I don't know what I'm doing over here yet. This was just kind of experimenting with some ideas. And of course I talked about it a little bit in the recording that I lost, but I'll show you a quick little time lapse of what I did with the highway just to kind of bury from here to here. And then we've got the exits on and off ramps coming in and out of there. We could definitely tighten this up quite a bit, but uh, let me see what's going on underground. So what I want to do is, is multi, uh, create multiple heights so that like right now this is kind of coming up and over the highway if the highway went down two, this could come up one still underground and feed into this system a little clearer I, I don't know I'll, I'll come up with something in the meantime let's figure out where to get some more office space in for now because we need it we need lots of it um what can we do here we can come all the way up to that that's fine now, um, when you're coming off of the, 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 the four lane road, which is wider, I've been coming away 12 units and that gives us that space for this one little block of pedestrian path, which if we want to fill that in as we go, because I've forgotten on a couple blocks, we can just connect all the way. Well, we'll connect all the way to there and then wherever there's nodes, or in this case, so that we don't have to break a building right next to those nodes. That's fine. Uh, we can connect these little pedestrian paths through. and it just it gives people another option for getting around so they don't have to walk all the way around the block if they're trying to get over here they can can kind of tighten up their uh, their path the other thing I did was I think I did start this in the last episode which is to change the middle segment of these roads they're they're 30 unit long blocks so the middle strip is 10 and changing that to grassline streets which creates these uh, pedestrian paths the, the crosswalks 
And then we have those kind of lined up with the paths. Again, encouraging people to hopefully walk around our city a little bit. Um, we'll do a little bit of a buffer here between industrial and let's go back to roads wrong button um between industrial and office so let's see where do we want to go we'll come out uh i think i mentioned <laughs> i think i started to explain this come out 12 units here to allow that one block of space now that we've got a two-lane street we can come out 11 units to do the exact same thing so just keep an eye on your spacing how do we connect this all back up probably with this road right here right do something like that for now so they can get goods into the city if they need to into the commercial areas and let's go ahead let's do something a little different over here with the footpaths so we'll still connect like this i think that works and this works but over here maybe we can go at a little a little funny angle like that just to change the shape of our blocks and where our building zone just a little bit. Um, but still have tons and tons of room for pedestrians to come through. Now, which streets did we not do? Okay, we didn't do this one yet. Will it let me go right there? It will. So if we wanted to do this, we could overwrite buildings. And again, this this just encourages people. Can I... Can I get... Can I get there? Can I get to... Can I get to that square right, right there? No? Okay. Seriously? Will you let me go over here on a crooked one? No, you won't? Okay. Will you let me go here? That works. Uh, and then maybe we can connect this through on the other side like that. I don't know. They don't have to be perfect. But we do need some of that office space zone now. So office will meet industrial demand. So let's do a big office park over here. We'll fill in all this zoning we just created. Heck, uh, do we go all the way over there? No, let's go all the way over here. Let's do that for now. Let's throw on three times speed and watch that. Uh, hopefully, chew into our zoning demand quite a bit. Break out our water and continue our grid. I need to do the grids more often. It's so easy to expand when you need to. When you've got the grids already set up. I'm even going to delete these excess pieces just because... Well, it's going to make it easier to snap everything together later on. Keep it nice and clean for all the messy pipes that I've done over the different seasons. You may hear uh, in my voice, I just heard it. Sometimes I notice it more than other times. I am a little congested. Uh, the three of us are, the three of us, my wife, the baby, and I are getting over being sick this weekend. So um, we were all kind of getting sick towards the end of the week. And you may have heard it in Monday's video, but um, I can definitely hear it now. So hopefully it's not... Uh, too distracting, my uh, my congested voice, but let's see. Over here, we got lots and lots of room for some different stuff. It might be kind of nice to have a little commercial pocket over here, kind of tucked away behind the high school, over by the highway where the noise is a little worse. We've got lots and lots of room over here. And the other thing, let me, uh, I just started to, uh, to conceptualize this. So you come off the highway into your modern city center here. And you can get to the predominantly commercial and office zone. I did have an actual highway ramp here, kind of like the other sides. Uh, but until I had this in place, it was getting really clogged with trucks. But as soon as I removed this, our recycling center couldn't get over here too easily to, uh, to actually deal with the garbage that was starting to pile up. We over here some abandonment. Uh... I didn't mean to dezone the entire block. I just meant to, to bulldoze that one building. Whoops. Okay. Um, all right. Where was I? So, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we've got these different areas over here. Modern city center. 
that's going to be good there. We're, I'm thinking like industrial port or something over here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's going to be kind of our big modern city center area. And then coming off of here, this kind of main road, as it hooks away from this bend and, and kind of rolls with the highway, I was thinking that would be a nice little main street that would come through over here for our... Uh, for our old town, which I was hoping to do today. I think we're going to unlock the next tile in about 300 people, right? Yeah, we're going to get one more tile, which will let us buy over here. And then we can really start to sketch out our old town area. Because it would be also nice to spread some of this demand out across uh, multiple highway exits. So right now we're going to get a little clogged over here. In the meantime, it looks like we need more and more and more office space. So, got to kind of decide too, like, where do we wrap this? How do we wrap this around? So, I want the city to start trailing off around here. We might end up buying this tile just to... Just to rough it up the terrain a little bit here to make it like a clear distinction of why the city would end there. Then again, if we save our tiles, we could, in theory, buy... Could we buy one to get the train tile? No, of course not. We'd have to buy two to get the train tile. All right, this, does, this doesn't get us anywhere near a train. Is there a train on that one? Not that we're buying that one, but... No, okay. It, it, anyways, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're trying to get to 22,000, but we've got, like, no residential demand right now. Uh, partially because maybe there's not enough jobs for everybody because there isn't enough uh, office space zoned. We'll just zone it, and we'll worry about cutting into it with uh, pedestrian paths later on. We'll zone all this. Heck, why not? We can always move our zoning. I didn't mean to do that one. We can always move our zoning around later. Let's actually get rid of this chunk on the end. Because this, I think, would still be a good area for more residents over here. Around the cemetery. Maybe we don't do right there, right on the back of the commercial zone. So we don't need it yet. We need more commercial. So, where can we squeeze that in where it makes sense? I guess we did, I did mention it, like we could do like a little commercial pocket down here. Some different stores and stuff by the waterfront. Maybe we can do something like this. Claim this little corner of our map for a little mall area, if you will. We've got a tiny little demand creeping up. We'll see. See if we need it. I think this is going to be more of a zoning episode than anything. Let's get some extra streets in here, but separate it out from the uh, industrial area. So we'll get at least one. Come on. Right, right there. Perfect. Perfect. Now, do we do this? I don't think that we need to. It doesn't really give us... Any room to do anything over here. Can, can we get... If we can get a row of trees in there, I'll keep it. Can we get a row of dirty, diseased trees? Probably. Maybe not. Maybe we have to really get in there and place them. This would be nice just to create a little bit of a visual barrier between the zones. I, I don't know if it works. I don't know if they're two on top of one another. But we will see. The leaves, like, all but disappear <laughs> when you're zoomed out. Like, look at that. They're just gone. The level of detail on console. I mean, come on. This is Xbox One X. Like, it could do a little better than this. I don't know. All right. Zoning. Let's, uh... Let's get that next top. Come on. Why are we losing people? Move in. Please move into our town. No, not industrial. Not industrial. Office office space clean good for the environment 
Uh, I'm thinking over here, another residential pocket. Just to spread things out a bit. Then again, if we did another residential pocket over here, that would be okay, and it would kind of blend in well with our, our old town. But we need some people to start moving in, so what's the deal? What is the deal? Let's go on a little cinematic tour while we... While we wait. Okay, hold on. Pause. I take it back. No cinematic tour. What's our fire coverage look like over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to go up. Um. Okay. So, a little firehouse right there. This is just temporary coverage. We'll do a little police station right over there. And we'll play it. Hopefully they'll get there to put it out in time. Healthcare. What's our healthcare look like? Pretty light over here. Where can we get this in? In a good spot. Right there. So that's healthcare. What about education? Speaking of... Where are we at? Recognized. So we did finally get a level. We lost almost 500 students. Let's, let's pause and check out our university. This is not the final resting place of it, but we want to keep cranking out uh, academic works. I didn't realize that there is an achievement for academic works because I just stopped when it was like, yeah, you don't need any more to level up. And uh, turns out you need to keep funding them if you want to get the achievement. So I shall do that. And we've unlocked new stuff, but I'm not as worried about the university growth right now because I want to actually... Come to think of it, before we get any demand, let's uh, create the, the false need for it by dezoning a block at a time. I might have done this off camera and I apologize. I dezoned all the industrial over here, except for that little bit, and slowly moved that out. It, the pollution has mostly gone away. You see the pollution is still around the recycling plant itself. But now I want to come in here and start to kind of block by block. We don't want to do too much at once. You can if you're super confident and your budget's good, which at 2.3 million, we could probably afford it. But let's not chance it and let's move out kind of block by block. As we have residential demand pop up, hopefully people will move in over here instead. We've got uh, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of space for them over here. Come on, put it out, 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 put it out. Thank you. Uh, so and yeah, we're not we're not set up ideally yet. A lot of abandonment happening in commercial. I haven't been noticing the pop ups as to why. So, uh, ooh, we just we just hit a death wave. I'm I'm telling you, there's one incoming. Let's look at the stats. Uh, info view, nope. City info. Statistics. Let's look at death rate. Oh, yeah. We're heading for the biggest one yet right now. Because uh, I know I moved a lot of these people in at the same time. So if we start seeing icons popping up over here, that's why. They all move in at the same time. They grow old at the same time. And they die at the same time. So, Do we get rid of the footpaths? I feel like we should. So do that, pause, and then dezone this little, oh, this piece that wasn't zoned. Perfect. Okay, three times speed. See, we start to get a little bit of residential demand. So I am just going to take out block by block. As soon as we've got some demand. I don't want to move everybody out. Not at once. Did I dezone that whole block? I did, right? Okay. Um, yeah, but hopefully people will start moving in over here. And then we can get to work on our island. So I think in the next episode, our project's going to be over here. If we can get to 22,000, what the heck? Um, our next project is going to be over here in kind of an old town and bridging the gap between modern city center, old town, smaller residential and commercial, 
and then way over here the farm on the edge of our map which is doing pretty good last time i checked the only thing we had to wait for was production of goods and everything else was okay so we're at 124,000 of 135,000. We have 950 workers out of 800 required to reach the next level, so we should get level five, no problem over here. We're producing crops, which partially help feed the animals. The leftover crops go into storage. Leftover animal products go into warehouses, and then they get processed over here. The crops get processed into flour. And then all three of those go into the bakery. And we can kind of see where we're at production-wise. We need more crops right now, but it might just be between deliveries. And now we've got a ton of flour. We, so you've got to kind of come in here and look at it every once in a while and see what are we low on. Hopefully that was a crop delivery that just came in. Or they were picking up goods. So we're going to pause our production right now because we don't have any crops, right? And you can see it complains about it almost immediately. And then it, it instantly gets it delivered. So that's working out great over here. That's what we're trying to do is just make sure we're cranking out goods over here. And we should have a five-star farm in just a little bit of time waiting offline. Cannot keep up with the industrial demand. Good news is we're meeting it pretty well with office. But I think this is going to get rebuilt also because i think we really should separate the industrial over to its own little pocket over here by the the water maybe by a shipping port Ooh, look at that look at the pollution bubble over here off map where there's apparently no water flow or where water flow is meeting water flow just kind of sitting out there unfortunately there's a little bit of flow here. We might have to add like some water outlets to try and push that out to the ocean. You can see we're polluting a lot less with our treatment plants right now. But it's still polluting. But you can see where it kind of drops off. And then we've got that new bubble of pollution happening out there. So it'd be nice to kind of wash that away. And maybe we can do that with an outlet over here. Just kind of forcing water so we don't have to look at it. Somebody else's problem. We will do... Let's do a quick cinematic flyby. See what it wants to show us about the town of Grand Lakes. Hopefully you've been enjoying the build so far. I'm so sorry that we uh, we we did some building off camera as a result of me forgetting to hit record, but it happens pretty much once every season. I hope it was something that uh, everyone can still follow along with at home. We had already stamped out that, that grid and block pattern, and all I did in the last episode was basically repeat that and kind of grow our population. It was eventful in terms of we doubled the population, but it wasn't very eventful in terms of the build. So you didn't miss a whole lot, which is good news. Um, hopefully you've been enjoying the series so far. Hopefully you're having a great week and hopefully you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. Tune in Mondays and Fridays for new episodes of the Let's Play and something different on Wednesdays. That might be indie games or VR or funny highlights from some multiplayer games or behind the scenes stuff. You won't know until you tune in on Wednesday, so check those out. But Let's Plays, again, are every Monday and Friday. I try and post them around 12 Eastern, but sometimes life happens. You probably know how it is. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. I do post some behind-the-scenes and private videos up there, so uh, it's totally free. It's available on phone and PC, and you should check it out and join the community and talk with us about games and cities and... All sorts of stuff. So hopefully we'll see you over there if you aren't there already. But until the next one, when we'll bridge the gap between the modern city center and the farms with an old town smack in the middle. This is Move the Mouse, wishing you a fantastic weekend and signing off.